Hi, I'm Katherine Gamblin. The Gamblin pigmented wax resin, known as PWR, is used for filling losses in paintings and other types of artworks. They are composed of two waxes, a resin and pigments, and they are formulated with a balance of these materials with the intention that the completed fill has a similar physical property to the surrounding aged painting. PWR is available in individual sticks or in sets. One set has 12 colors. The other set is a 14-step set of neutral grays. The best tool for working PWR is a wax pen or wax carving pencil. Ours is made by Whitmix. Whitmix is similar in concept to the heated spatulas made by Willard and CTS. The principal difference being that the Whitmix heated tips are smaller and allow for a greater degree of control. The units are primarily made for the dental industry. The compact size and simple design of the unit make it portable and easy to use. We offer two units, a single, which comes with five tips, and a double, which comes with eight tips. The double unit has the advantage of two different working tips. Each wax pencil has separate heat controls. Settings are in both centigrade and Fahrenheit. A recommended starting temperature for working with the PWR is 78 degrees centigrade or 172 Fahrenheit. Temperatures are easy to set. Each pen of the double unit can be set to different temperatures. The whip mix pencils are available in both 110 and 240 volt versions. There are a couple good ways to use the wax pencil with the PWR. The first is to hold the stick in one hand and shave the stick with the heated tip of the wax pencil into the area of loss. Another method is to shave a stick with a knife and place the shavings into the area of loss, then melt the fill material into place with the heated wax pencil. I'm doing this in a contrasting color to make it easier for you to see. With either fill material, use the appropriate tip to shape the PWR in the area of loss. This can be a heated tip or various dental tools that can be used for shaping. And also, a bamboo stick can be used to shape and for removing the PWR that is outside the area of loss. Bamboo is a good choice since it is softer than the paint layer. Excess PWR can be removed with an aliphatic solvent such as our Gamsol used on a Q-tip. The shallow fill that requires a canvas texture shows off the versatility of the PWR. We will demonstrate this on a test panel that we have carved for this purpose. The first thing Catherine is doing is creating some shards of pigmented wax resin by using a pencil sharpener on a stick and also by shaving a stick with a knife. There are a couple ways of approaching this type of fill. One is to put the shards of PWR into the area of loss. The next is to cast a very thin film of the PWR. This was first shown to us by Pauline Banka in Copenhagen. Do this by setting a piece of release paper on the hot plate, adding the shards of PWR, folding over to make a little sandwich, and then melt the PWR into a very thin film. Let your thin film 
cool completely before trying to remove it from the release paper. Again, we are doing this fill in a contrasting color to make it easy for you to see. Lay the thin sheets into the area of loss and you can tool it with a hot dental tool to uh, sculpt it to the edge. Add additional pieces of the thin films until you have the loss completely covered. In order to fuse the layers of PWR together and to fuse them into the loss, we will use a technique that was shown to us by Gowan Weaver, a photography conservator in the Bay Area. Heat a small piece of glass on a hot plate. Place a piece of the release paper on top of the fill. Add the sheet of hot glass and then weight that and then allow it to cool almost completely before removing and inspecting. Repeat this process until the fill is filled completely and is totally flat in plane with the painting's surface. Tidy up the edges using the sharpened bamboo skewer. To give our flat fill a canvas texture, we're using a silicone mold of the canvas. And we preheat that, we preheat the glass plate, we can even preheat the weight, and um, let it sit until it has cooled before removing. Here's our finished fill. It is now ready for in-painting. And compare that to the damage before we began. Please see other videos on our website for advanced ways of working with PWR. Thank you.